Well, even in this frigid weather, though, people were lining up overnight to get their hands on this book. How's this for a marketing line? It's the book the president doesn't want you to read. But let's start with that new reporting, the New York Times revealing just how far President Trump went trying to stop his attorney general, Jeff Sessions, from recusing himself in the Russia investigation, raising new questions this morning about whether the president obstructed the FBI's inquiry. New this morning, the New York Times reporting President Trump gave strict instructions to the White House's top lawyer last March to pressure Attorney General Jeff Sessions to remain in charge of the Russia inquiry. The Times citing two people with knowledge of the episode. And when Sessions stepped aside anyway, the president erupted in anger, saying he needed his attorney general to protect him. So far, the White House declining to comment. Ultimately, Sessions' deputy would greenlight the appointment of Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller. All of it adding fresh fuel to the explosive tell-all book Fire and Fury hitting bookshelves today, four days ahead of schedule. The book's publisher citing unprecedented demand, calling author Michael Wolff's work an extraordinary contribution to our national discourse. Wolf tweeting, here we go. Thank you, Mr. President. The president's personal legal team earlier firing off cease and desist letters, including one to former chief strategist Steve Bannon, who ripped Donald Trump Jr.'s 2016 meeting with Russians as treasonous. President Trump privately fuming, but publicly pulling punches. Did Steve Bannon betray you, Mr. President? Thank you, Any Thank words you. about Steve Bannon? I don't know. He called me a great man last night. So, you know, he obviously changed his tune pretty quick. Bannon on the radio trying to play down any rift. Nothing will ever come between us and President Trump and his agenda. The White House again attacking fire and fury as a book of lies. I'm not going to waste my time or the country's time going page by page uh, talking about a book that's complete fantasy and just full of tabloid gossip. Downplaying the partnership that helped propel Mr. Trump to the presidency. I'm not aware that they were ever particularly close. The growing feud threatening Bannon's role heading up the conservative Breitbart News website. Bannon's main financial backer, GOP megadonor Rebecca Mercer, highlighting her support for the president and distancing herself from Bannon's recent actions and statements. My family and I have not communicated with Steve Bannon in many months, Mercer told the Washington Post. The White House even weighing in whether Breitbart should fire Bannon. I certainly think um, that it's something they should look at. The book Fire and Fury reignites questions about the president's mental stability. Wolf writing in The Hollywood Reporter that the president repeats himself. Everybody was painfully aware of the increasing pace of his repetitions. Trump aides dismissing those claims as disgraceful and laughable. Steve Bannon hasn't disputed any of his quotes in the book, but a number of other former Trump aides have said that they were misquoted. Still, the author, Michael Wolf and the publisher say they stand by their account. For his part, the president unloaded again last night. Here's what he tweeted. I authorized zero access to White House, actually turned him down many times for author of phony book. I never spoke to him for book full of lies, misrepresentations and sources that don't exist. Look at this guy's past and watch what happens to him and Sloppy Steve, apparently his new nickname for Steve Bannon. All right. So back to you. Peter, thank you.